We are joined now by Drs. Elena Fuentes Affleck and Leslie Walker. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So today we wanted to talk about diversity and inclusion in academic pediatrics. What are some of the issues you're facing right now? The APS Committee on Diversity and Inclusion has been focusing on these issues for the last four years or so, and we have focused on building our membership database so we know who is represented within our organization, and we've offered original programming at the PAS meeting. So we're really excited to bring the conversation to the PAS audience and to engage people in conversation and action. Why is this conversation so important, though? Well, I think it's really important because we're really seeing changes in the healthcare field and we're seeing changes in pediatrics and the kinds of kids that we take care of. And if we don't really have a lot of diversity inclusion and inclusion in leadership, in the faculty and who we teach, you know, how we teach our residents to care for these kids, we're really going to lose ground in really improving the health and well-being of all children. Are there specific challenges that you're facing right now other than how to teach? Well, yes, I think that uh, one of the things why we're interested in having people come to our workshop and why we're interested in working on our organization's diversity is that we don't see um, really the numbers that we should see of all different kinds of people. Um, and that's gone on for many decades, and we're really trying to do a big push. We think we know how to fix that, and we want to get that out to everybody. What are some of the reasons, though? Why are you not having the diversity that you crave? Well, part of it is a pipeline, and we know that the pipeline to becoming a faculty member is long and it starts way back. So in pediatrics, we tend to take a very broad view of these issues, and we recognize that we need more diversity to achieve it at the faculty and leadership level. We need it at the residency, medical student, college, elementary and high school level. So mm -hmm. we take a very broad view and want to encourage people at all steps to enter the health professions, to enter pediatrics, and then to consider academic pediatrics. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing to me that you said elementary school level. Oh, yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, if you, you need to be well prepared in elementary school to do well in middle and high school, to do well in college, everything builds on what came before. Very interesting. Let's talk about your session a little bit. What are you yes. talking about there? We're really excited about our session which is called Reaching for the Tipping Point in Diversity and Inclusion and we're going to bring a perspective from different organizations about why is diversity and inclusion important. So we will have four magnificent presenters. We will have someone from Seattle Children's Hospital where they've made incredible improvements. We will have a senior vice president from the Kaiser Permanente system. We will have representation from the military, the Uniformed Services Medical School. And finally from the LCME, which helps create standards for medical schools and for departments in terms of what we need to reach as benchmarks in diversity and inclusion. So looking at the perspective from a broad organizational viewpoint and helping us understand how all of these concepts apply in our daily practice so we can take these lessons back home and work on advancing these issues. So what happens if these issues are not overcome, if you're not able to reach this goal? Well, we'll stay the same. And what that means is that we'll move further and further behind in really improving the health and well-being of all kids. We have a lot of health disparities right now, and we really haven't moved the mark. And in order to do that, we need the right people in the right places and really excellent, top-notch ideas that need to come from a wide range of people. And without that, we're going to stay the same, which means we will move behind. What kind of... Um response have you gotten when you talk to people about that at this meeting? Oh, I think it's yeah. great. It's yeah. exuberant. All of our pediatric partners, all the different organizations here care about these issues, mm -hmm. but people often don't know what can they do as an individual. What should we do as organizations that come together? So we try to present the science behind it, the organizational response, but allow people to have conversation and tailor that message so that they can take it home and take action. Yeah, and it, one of the things that's so exciting is we've been setting the stage for the last couple of years. Why is this an issue? What is important about it? And now we're saying, this is what you can do about it. And mm -hmm. this is that's really exciting. And I think a lot of people will show up. We've had more and more um, interest every year. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank it was you. lovely to talk to you today. Likewise. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.